Hey guys and welcome to my weekly makeup basket. My makeup at the moment is not exactly an accurate representation of what's in my makeup basket. This is the result of me having um, a kind of bad morning and makeup being my therapy. I decided to uh, play with my makeup and see what I came up with and I was playing with the iHeart makeup palette in iHeart Chocolate. Yes, I placed another makeup revolution order and I have placed another one since and I'm waiting for it to come and then I'm cutting myself off because Makeup Revolution is like eating all my money. This is the I Heart Chocolate palette and I just kind of came up with this and I'm actually really impressed with it so I kind of wanted to ask you guys if you wanted a, you know, like a get ready with me style video replicating this because I really like it and it's been a while since I've done a, like anything dark and smoky so to start I'd mention it. But back to the video in hand, the weekly makeup basket. I haven't done one of these in about two weeks and I, I generally haven't filmed in about a week and a half because um, I had a little bit of conjunctivitis. Um, thankfully it was just like an irritation based conjunctivitis and not conjunctivitis, nothing bacterial so I just kind of had to flush out my eye with some drops for a few days and I just haven't actually worn makeup in like a week or so I didn't actually start wearing makeup again until last Friday so we are pretty much picking up from where we left off. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So starting with my eye makeup for a base I'm going to be using the um, Maybelline On and On Bronze Color Tattoo. Um, as you can see I'm still working my way across the jar. Um, there's not a whole lot of this left. I think this will probably be finished. This is not a Project Pan update, what am I even saying? There is a Project Pan co update coming though, just so you guys know, it is coming this week. Um, I, I guarantee it, I promise it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using On and On Bronze as a base just slightly before I put my eyeshadow on. For a brow bone highlight, I'm working with the Revlon Matte Shadow in Vintage Lace. Um, I, I forgot how large, like, it's a 2 gram shad, no, it's a 2.4 gram shad, oh. um, so yeah, it's going to take a while to get through this one. Again, this is not a Project Pan update, don't know why I'm peppering in these little nuggets of information, but yeah, matte creamy highlight, it's a discontinued product, but you know, it's just a, a matte creamy white highlight. All brands do them. Um, for my actual eyeshadow um, I will be still working with the Naked palette. Um, I'm going to talk about this in my Finish 5 by Fall update which again is coming this week I promise. Um, so I will talk about more then but I am actually really enjoying using the Naked palette all the time. I've sort of gone into a habit of like mixing all the shades so it, I'm creating like a different look all the time which is, is pretty awesome so um super happy with this. Um, for eyeliner I've misplaced the Rimmel liner that I was using and there was only like a tiny little bit left so I'm gonna kind of call that quits and move on to my mid last eyeliner from Giordana in black point and this is just a really intense black liquid um well not liquid but like black creamy eye pencil. It's actually very similar to the Scandalize eye pencil from Rimmel. Just very creamy, intense. So I'm gonna focus all my attentions on this and also the number seven Stay Precise liquid liner in black which is what I have on my top lines at the moment. I'm not sure if you can tell but it is there. But this is just your classic black liquid liner. Um, I might have to get a new one of these soon because it's, it's, it's starting to turn a little bit and the brush, you can't see it at the moment but there is brush hair starting to splay out all over the place. I can never get to the bottom of a tube of liquid liner before it goes bad. It's just like physically impossible for me. For mascara, I've busted out the Max Factor Masterpiece Max mascara, just for just for a change, just for a little change. I've been using Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, no, 
Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. I've been using that pretty much every day for like four months. So I kind of wanted to change up my mascara for a little bit and use the Max Factor one. And for my brows, I've I've got an arsenal of products here. Um, my brows are a little overdone today. I will say that. They are like monsters right now. Um, but I will be using the number seven beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil which I've shown you guys before. It's just the kind of triangular waxy pencil with the spoolie on the end. For a little bit of definition I've got the Rimmel professional eyebrow pencil in dark brown which kind of needs a sharpen. And to set it all in place I've got the brow this way from Rimmel in dark brown. It's just a a nice brow mascara. This does deposit a lot more product than the Maybelline Brow Drama mas Mascara I think it's called. I'm pretty sure it's Brow Drama. I can't... I can't see it at the moment. I, I, I like it. I like the Brow Drama one for like when I'm like blonder because it's it sort of fixes it all in place without depositing too much colour. But I'm kind of like digging the whole like bold brow, not quite as bold as this, but bold brows. I'm liking bold brows. On to face products. For primer, I'm still mixing a mattifying primer in with my moisturiser and I was still doing this when I wasn't wearing makeup. Um, I actually kind of lost this one for a little bit and I actually started working on the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel and there was like an air bubble in it and all of a sudden it just sort of went from being all puffy to being all flat like so I'm guessing there was a lot less product in this than I thought but um, I'm going to focus on the Miracle Matte from Seventeen just to sort of finish it up. I think there's only maybe two days worth left in here anyways and then I will go on to using the Stay Matte Primer and I just kind of mix this half and half with my moisturiser and it gives a sort of, it sort of mattifies my skin without drying it out too much because um, sometimes when I put a mattifying primer over my moisturiser it sort of just sucks up all the moisture out of my moisturiser because so many moisturers in one sentence. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. The mattifying primer will just suck all the moisture out of the moisturiser and it just sort of sits there in pockets in my pores and it just does not look nice and then you put the foundation over it and it just kind of cakes up and balls up and just looks like dry flaky skin and it's really not pretty. So I mix it with my moisturiser, solves the problem. My other primer that I like to use is the Baby Skin from Maybelline and I just kind of use that on my larger pores around my nose. So that is that. For concealer I am mixing the, well not mixing, but I'm using both the Colorstay and the L'Oreal Touche Magique. I use the Touche Magique under my eyes and I use the Col the Revlon Colorstay on my blemishes, particularly on um, this side of my face. I'm not sure if this has something to do with the fact that I sleep on this side, but I, I have a nice cluster going on in the hollow of my cheek on this side so you know that's happening out of my control but yeah <laughs> for foundation I'm absolutely loving this combination we have the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, the Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra and then we have the Mimi Me Beat the Blues Luminizer in Sunbeam like specifically this one, a golden illuminator, mix them all together. If I was a little bit tanner it would look way cooler because then I could mix more of the lingerie to put in. But um, it just gives this gorgeous like glistening like fresh from the beach kind of look. And I freaking love it. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, digging that a whole whole lot. For blush, I'm still working on the e.l.f. HD blush in Headliner as a cream blush and over the top of this I will either be putting the Cream Puff blush in Nude Mauve which looks like this. I freaking love this stuff and look how little I have left. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful stuff. 
or I will put the NARS Ducer blush which looks like this and it's what I have on my cheeks at the moment over headliner. Um, for bronzing and highlighting I'm still working with the e.l.f. contour kit. I have the highlight on at the moment which is giving me that awesome glow. And check the size of that pan, it's getting huge. And for my bronzer, um, I'm actually favouring this brush. It's the powder brush from Real Techniques and what I'll do is I'll put the bronzer just on one half and sort of sculpt out whatever and then I'll use the the whole of the brush to sort of buff it out a little bit and it just, oh it's beautiful. This could like work with any like really big big brush. Um, I tend to find the darker the bronzer the bigger the brush I want to use and this one is, um, this is an Elizabeth Arden powder brush. It's It was limited edition but I think there are quite a few brands. I'm, I'm pretty sure Estee Lauder does a brush this big and I'm sure MAC does one this big as well um, and often in, you know like those cheapy Christmas sets that you get that look really tacky? Some of those have been the best brushes I've ever had. Um, those were the brushes I started out with until they all kind of disintegrated into nothing but they usually have a massive powder brush in them and it's perfect for doing bronzer. You can use them for powder as well but they're awesome for bronzer. Onto lip products. I have two lip liners that I'm kind of working with. We have Whirl by MAC. And this sort of is the pinky brown thing that's like all the rage at the moment. And then I have Linen from Dior which I think is discontinued. Um, but you know I have it so I'm going to use it. And that is Linen's Dior and it's a gorgeous kind of brown. It's like Whirl is a browned pink whereas linen is like a pink to brown. It's more brown than pink and world's more pink than brown. Yeah. <laughs> but I like using linen like for sort of defining my lower lip a little bit and sort of it's more for definition. I like using brown lip pencils or sometimes I can like I'll I'll show it in a video at some point but over drawing your lips ever so slightly but like you know right on like right on your lip line overdraw the entire lip color all in and then blot and then go in with your nude lip color and it just gives you a sort of like a an oomph to your lips it's really cool i would really recommend it another lips lip pencil you could try that with would be cappuccino um, I know that one's definitely available. Cappuccino from Rimmel. It's it's a darker, browner tone, but um, it'll give you a more amplified oomph to your lips than this one would. But it's worth giving it a try. I have the two e.l.f. matte lip colours. First is Natural, which I've swatched a billion times, but it's just that beautiful sort of natural, as the name would suggest, lip colour. It's just beautiful. I could wear this lip colour all the time and never get bored of it. And then we have Praline which is what I have on my lips at the moment and this is a really cool kind of... It's sort of like an amped up version of Whirl. Kind of like if Whirl was a touch more brown that would kind of be what this is and it's beautiful and it's got that nice sort of 90s grunge feel to it which is awesome. I also have two lipsticks that I'm kind of working on. This one is Cinnamon by Fashion Fashionista which is discontinued company, discontinued lipstick but this is all I have left of it. Just very very little And again, it's just kind of that all the rage colour. I think um, pink brown from Maybelline is actually really similar to this. I'm pretty sure that's still available. And then we have, what's this? 
Mystic Mauve from Maybelline, which is beautiful kind of cool toned greyed out pink shade. It's kind of like vintage pink from Rimmel but more pink. Gorgeous. And then lastly for lip products I do have a gloss picked out which again is hiding under my knee. My knee hides things from me. This is Tuscany from Cargo and it is gorgeous gorgeous colour and it goes pretty much well with every single thing swatched on my hand. It's perfect for like the matte lip colours from e.l.f. because like whilst they're not like drying matte they're still pretty waxy so they can still like you feel them on your lips so just a dab of gloss sort of softens that and makes the the wear of them a little bit more well I was about to say enjoyable, but when is wearing a lipstick enjoyable? Um, I don't put on a lipstick and go, ah, this is so pleasant to wear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it makes it it makes you feel it less, and um, it makes you less conscious of you wearing the product. But yeah, and the last thing that I keep forgetting to mention, I always forget to mention powders, even though you know they're in there. Um, the two powders that are in my project pan, the number seven uh, perfect light powder, which this is all that's left of it. I think by this time next week, I'm probably either going to be done or at least just skirting the edges. And my carry around powder is the one heck of a blot from Soap and Glory, which I am. Look at the size of that dip. It's huge. So that is my weekly makeup basket. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye bye.